fam, how are ya? Every time I try to finish this story, something happens. Long story short, I have been dealing with allergies. One minute, I'm okay. The next minute, I can't breathe. But we're here now so we can finish the story and we can move on to some different stories. Now, am I the only one that's dealing with allergies right now? Because I don't want to feel alone. But let's get this story started so we can finish it. I believe we are moving to episode 13. Um, do I remember what last week's well, the week before, because I didn't record last week. But do I remember what the last episode was about? No, my brain is pretty foggy because I'm trying to get better. And I guarantee you, have you guys noticed that in the videos I do sound like I'm sniffling a lot? Well, that's the start of me not being able to breathe. But let's get to uh, this 13th chapter. We do have 15 chapters, as I said. So after this one, we have two more to go. Trying to get through it. So let's get to reading. Oh yeah, now I remember. We left off on Ethan fighting Adam. Because Ethan's trying to get back with Talia. That was what we left off of. And the Bachelorette, how can I forget? So, beat his, no, that's not Talia. Stop or I'll whoop both your, no, that's not Talia. So, fighting isn't the answer. You're not going to solve anything with that fight. Hey, you guys, back off and chill. He's not worth it, Adam. Yeah, Adam, he's not worth it. Trust me, Talia's not going back with him. That's enough. Back to your rooms, everyone, or the show is canceled. Canceled without finding my soulmate? You guys are a joke. You're lying. We're not doing that. Adam is still fussing. Good morning, dear princesses and princes. Glad to see you've recovered from last night's ER joining tournament. We've gathered you in the great hall of the castle for the season's final challenge. No more challenges? But well, how will I, what, manage Talia? Because you weren't living your life without challenges before? I'm sorry. Life is always a challenge. So you would never miss it, Talia. Score Lux date with my boo. Keep my fans happy. Dominate over Leela and Maya. Well, we already have our boo. So let's just continue to make sure our fans love us. Keep my fans happy. They won't have anything to talk about if I'm not accomplishing my heroic deeds I bet they'll be more than a little interested in our wedding though will they introducing Pablo Almador the re 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 re-owned dance teacher who works exclusively with royalty also the host of the hugely popular show Dancing with Pablo. Ah, I'm feeling like the king of science right now. Alas, Dr. Gonzalez, science bends the knee to no king. Um, you guys were live right now, so you might want to stop nerding out. Let's leave my colleagues to their royal lifestyles while I present our newest challenge. Mission, dance me to the altar. 
And this should be our final equation. Queen music plus king music means turn around and love to dance. Did I solve it? Well, our contestants will learn how to open their wedding dances from the world's best dance teacher. The keys to partner, partner dancing are chemistry, harmony, and trust. Can our couple sync up and recreate each step of the choreography? I don't know why I have problems just pronouncing words because my mouth don't want to work. Or will they find that they have four left feet? Lords and ladies, shoulders back, heads up, feet light. You are pure elegance and grace sweeping certainly across the dance floor. Certainly. Pay close attention to the choreography because they'll be performing it next. I don't want to see one little finger out of place. Yes, my no. My little finger is pure eggless and grace. Let the dance begin. We're just going to say the, the second option. Lady Elsa, would you like to be my partner for the demonstration? Well, sure. Uh, you're going to make somebody jealous because obviously you've been having an eye on Elsa. We've gotten that hint multiple times. Hey, I wanted Elsa to be my partner. Silence in the ballroom, please. <sighs> Glide toward each other as if you're skimming the surface of the sea. Take your partner in your arms and embrace her lightly. Good job, everyone. Good job. Now step in unison with dignified pose. And finally, the grand flourish, the test of trust. Wait, do I have to remember this? Is this supposed to be a memory game? Because if so, I went through this really fast. But we're gonna test my memory if it is. Oh, wow, strong man. Now she's falling for him? Girl, you cannot fall for another man that easily. That's too easy. All right, lords and ladies, it's the moment of truth. Each pair will dance with what they've learned in front of the group. So I'm supposed to remember, right? Show me grace, show me elegance, make the floor sing. Talia and Adam, why don't you go first? You seem to have the dancer's touch. So that means I had to remember what we just did. But I think I got it. I think I can remember. That's because we've had lots of practice teaching each other. We learn from the best. I started floating whenever I'm in Adam's arms. We're just gonna talk about our boot. Oh, please. River and I can dance rings around the pair of waddling ducks. Um, Lila, you've been doing a good job. Stay out of my business. We haven't fought in episodes. So, keep it that way, please. I guess we'll just have to find out who's the true waddling duck. Mm hmm? All right, let's see what we remember, guys. Don't listen to Leela. We aced the rehearsal and we know all the stuff. That's why Pablo noticed us. Let's show them what we can do. And hey, love. Now, let me test my memory, please, okay? Just let me do that. No golden buttons, please. I'm watching you, episode. Can you hear what I'm saying? Huh, episode? Do you hear the words that are coming out of my mouth? Because as soon as I say something and jinx myself, you do exactly what I told you not 
to do. That is rude. I guess we're choking and not doing nothing correctly. Like we've been doing this whole episode. Here goes nothing. Yeah, ready to be embarrassed. Leela. I mean, not Leela, look. Leela, why is she in my head? Talia. Talia. Oopsie. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid I can't teach you grace and elegance. Ducks just don't dance. Shh. Look, you're you're just amusing Leela and her sidekick, Maya. I simply can't believe it. My munchkin is picking out her wedding dress today. <laughs> Boo-hoo. You already cried a thousand times, Mom. You won't be long before the whole cafe is flooded. I can't help myself. Vera, stop that sniffling, or I'll get emotional too. Or Talia has found her soulmate. I'm just so happy for her. Oh, now they're both crying. Come on, girls. Toughen up. It's just a wedding where everybody gets emotional. Quit it. You're going to make me bleed mascara on my dresses. I'm going to float down the aisle in a cloud of white. Ooh. I'm so happy you're both here with me. <clears throat> We're just going to say, we're just happy that they're both here. The important thing is that I have you here with me today. We would never miss it, baby. Well, hello, ladies. What is your name, girl? I'm just going to call you M, okay? M. What? A coincidence? Are you here for coffee? You'll never guess what I'm doing today. Um, <clears throat> do we know this girl? I don't remember seeing her in any of these episodes. We're gonna say, are you here for coffee? So nice to bump into you. Are you here for coffee? It seems like Talia know her. Am I missing something? Because I haven't seen this lady before. Well, actually... The truth is that I just so happened to ring up your mother's yesterday. She wanted to be there for you during this special day, so I told her where to find us. It was so lovely to meet you the other night at our place. Wait, is this Adam's mother? This is Adam's mother, right? I'm losing it, guys. I can't help but want to spend more time with such a delightful girl. It won't be long before your my daughter... Yes, that is Adam's mother. See, I knew it. I knew it. You guys didn't even have to tell me. I just knew it. My daughter-in-law, after all. Aw, she loves Talia. She totally wants to come. Adam would totally want her to come. I totally want her to come. We do want her to come. So, we're not going to say Adam. We're going to say I totally want her to come. I totally want Adam's mom to come with us. I'd love for you to join us. Me too. What do you say, my dear? Are you about to give me another go button? Because if so, I guess Adam's mom is not coming. We are going to have to check into those community guidelines, uh, advice thing that I've gotten in the comments from someone because these go buttons are ridiculous. I will be checking the, the community when I figure out how to do that. Ex exclude her and hurt her feelings. I'm sorry, Adam's mom. Please don't take it hard. Please. Talia never means anything that she does. Trust me. Um, I already told the boutique I was bringing only two other people. I'm sorry. Oh, that's okay, dear. Have fun. That has to be the most hurtful thing in the world to tell somebody that you cannot come 
to her son's wedding. It's not just mine. It's, I mean, not mine. It's not just Talia's wedding. It is Adam's wedding as well. And that's his mom. She deserves to be there. And Talia, who do you think you are? Elsa, Sister Snatch, you are here too. You bet you're a flouncy bridal, but we are. We wouldn't miss it for the world. Can you tell us the date of the wedding? Are we the only one getting married? I haven't even... They haven't even told me if Adam was my soulmate yet. You're supposed to get married after you find out? Or am I going to find out at the wedding? Or maybe we are soulmates and we just don't know it. And the wedding is to surprise us that we are. We're going to have to see. The suspense is killing us. We can't, we can't, Sally. It's the production team's way of keeping you on your toes. But don't worry. A little birdie told us that it'll be revealed sooner than you think. For now, let's focus on finding the perfect wedding fit for you all. As long as there is not a gold button, we will wear your fit, Sister Snatch. And so far through these episodes, not one time have Tala wore anything that you have given her. So, Talia might be going to her wedding looking like trash. What do you think? You look beautiful, pumpkin. I love it. Eight out of 10, nine out of 10, a perfect 10. We're gonna say nine out of 10. It's, it's a pretty dress, very. Thoughts? That's the dress. You look like a fairy. How can you be so cute? That's what we're gonna say. You absolutely must wear that dress. You're so pretty, baby. Aww. What do you guys think? I feel pretty good in this. <clears throat> Leela, because we're always been a nice person, we'll tell you what we think. Look at Talia, she don't even wanna rate Leela's dress. I gotta admit, she looks flawless. Yeah, but why are you saying that in your head, Talia, hmm? Because she's been your enemy since day one? Wait a minute, do I see a tear in her eye? Is Leela crying? Is she becoming a softie? Wedding dresses bring out so many hidden feelings. Yes, it does, doesn't it? You like it? Yeah, you don't? God, no. Can't you see how fat it makes you? Now we see why Lila's the way she is. Her mom, her mom is a whole nother story. But now we see where Lila get it from. Obviously, it couldn't have been far. How dare you tell your daughter that? You're supposed to tell her that she's beautiful. You didn't follow your diet during your bachelorette weekend, did you? I just had one little slice of cake. Leela, a man marries a woman for how she will look by his side. No, a man marries a woman for her heart. He loves her no matter what, the appearance. Thank you, Leela's mom. Get your facts straight. That's probably why you're not married. Where your husband at? That's what I thought. Do you want River to say yes to you at the altar? And he's gonna say yes regardless. She's beautiful. And that's coming from me, AKA Talia. If you keep stuffing yourself like a pig, he'll take one look at you and march right out of there. Oh my gosh, what's wrong with her? That's what I said. Eureka, you, you. You always know. You, you, mm -hmm. you know Eureka been my number one since day one. Didn't you know Brittany won Miss World when she was Lila's age? Oh, that's her name, Brittany? She's completely obsessed with looks and fame. 
And trust me, do not let fame get to your head because fame can ruin a lot of people's reputation. Just because you're famous doesn't mean that you're better than anyone else, okay? We all are human beings. We're equal. That's the way God made us. We are equal. No one is better than no one else. Got it? Great. She started putting Leela in pageants when she was just a little kid. Oh, wow. I feel kind of sorry for Leela. I actually feel so sorry for her that Brittany is a piece of work. Actually, we're going to say we actually really feel so sorry for her. Now I get why she's the way she is. That's what I said. Mom, please. Don't look at me like that. It's for your own good. Go get changed. Pick a dress one size smaller and we'll tighten the corset to conceal those rows. I cannot have a mother like Leela. Me and my mother would not be friends if she was like Leela. Mm -mm. But she won't be able to breathe. Nobody asks you for your opinion. This mom is not rubbing the right side. Oh no. How we feel bad for Leela now. She was our enemy since day one. And now we just want to be her friend now because now we see what she goes through. And nobody should have to go through that. What do you want? Leela, I'm just here to make peace. Please don't make me change my mind. Okay? I'm trying to be a nice person. Well, Talia is. So give her a chance. I want to see how you were doing. I'm worried about you. Were you crying? I'm going to say, I want to see how you were doing. Actually, I'm going to say we were worried about her because we are. Because we are very concerned. I'm worried about you. Your mother shouldn't have talked to you like that. Whatever. I don't need your help. Leela, I'm giving you a chance. Calm your tone with me, please. We're trying to talk like civilized women. Calm down, okay? Don't make me regret coming to this bathroom with you. Are you sure? I don't need anyone's help. Fine. That's what you want to be? So be it. I've always been alone and I'll always be alone. And Talia's trying to be your friend. You need a friend because... Obviously, you don't see Maya here trying to comfort you, do you? Do you? And she's supposed to be your friend. It can't... It can't have been easy growing up with a mom like yours. What do you know? You've got a great mom. A perfect mom. Wait, wait. Nobody mom is perfect. Everyone, as a human being, has flaws. Some are greater than others, but... We learn to live with it. But your mom? That is a very huge flaw. Ever since I was a kid, mine treated me like I was nothing. I lost my childhood because she forced me into one beauty pageant after another. It's all been diets and beauty boot camp ever since I can remember. I had to be perfect all the time, you know? I do know. That's why I'm here talking to you. If I wasn't, she wouldn't love me. And if your mom doesn't love you for who you are, then get a new mom. I know it's not that easy, but... What am I talking about? Can't get a new mom? That's your mom. Just... I don't know. I can't give you advice on what to do with a horrible mom. Just don't be close. I don't know. I don't know. That's so sad. Maybe she never loved me at all. Perfect or not. That's why you want to win this show, right? To prove yourself to your mom? Yeah. 
A mom should love you no matter what. I'm so sorry you went through that. I had no idea you had it so rough. So I really want to pick the first option saying mom should love you no matter what. And I also want to pick the last option. I had no idea you had, had it so rough. But what would be the best option? I think I'm going to say the first one. A mom should love you no matter what. A mom should love you no matter what. I thought being rich and famous was like the goal of life. No, because for some people, rich and famous makes some people, some people, I'm saying some, not all, but it makes some people a really big snob, like your mom. But you know what? I was wrong. Freaking wrong. I've been jealous of you since the beginning. That's why you keep torturing me. Just be my friend. You don't have to torture me. We can, you, you can come and pretend like my mom is your mom. We can be sisters. Come on. Why? You've got all your friends, your family, your soulmate. I have nothing. You can still have, have all those things. Do you think you can forgive me for being a little? Yes. Yes, Leela, I can forgive you. Just because you asked me to forgive you. And God will want me for, to forgive you. Because you're supposed to forgive. And forget. But I forgive you. I forgive you. Maybe I can, you know, make things right. We've had so many fights and yet... Even though she was a pain, she definitely brought spice to the mix. Today was an eye-opener. She just wants love like everybody else. Lila deserves my forgiveness. Plus, how sweet would it be to leave this show as friends rather than enemies? We're trying to make Lila our friend. And you decide to put um, one of your demon buttons in front of me. Well, I can't forgive you. I'm sorry. Hypocrite. You're even worse than my mom. We almost had Leela as a friend. And yet, we're gonna leave this story still not friends. That means, what was the point of you going to talk to her, Leela? I meant, going to go talk to Leela, Talia. Now I'm getting their names mixed up. Oh, Maya, you look like a dream. Oh, isn't that one beautiful? Talia, you haven't tried any wedding, wedding fits on yet. Because she's not going to be able to wear them. Duh. Let's see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We like the white one. Which she's not going to be able to wear. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Trying it on. But is she going to keep it? My munchkin is all grown up. That's my bestie. Sexy lady. Thanks, guys. It's the perfect wedding look. There's just no other way to put it. This is exactly what I've always pictured wedding on my wearing on my wedding day. I promise. I promise you, whoever made this story and put these buttons here, we're gonna fight, okay? We're gonna fight. Ew! Oh, all you, all you, all you. You're gonna make Adam run away, okay? What are you wearing? Willy Wonka's dress? What about this? Nuh uh. You straight up can't get married in that. Trust me. You're right. This is my day. A day I'll remember for the rest of my life. 
white, but anything less than drop dead beautiful. And you're gonna be everything but drop dead beautiful, Talia, because I'm sorry, it had to be your story that becomes trash. I'll just wear this one. Yeah, take it off. I don't wanna look at it. Hey babe, I brought a little gift for you. Is it what I think it is? Sexy lingerie for your first night as a married woman and for your honeymoon? Yeah. But why, Sister Snatch? Do you not catch on that Talia is not wearing anything that you give her? You should catch on and be like, you know what? I'm not bringing nothing for Talia anymore because she's just gonna wear what she wants anyway. You're not catching on. So which set will make Adam drool? The one she got on, the black, the black sports bra and pants she have on. I just like the red one, but. <sighs> oh yeah, great choice. Buzz. Oh, speak of the devil. Smooth, he's got a sixth sense for when you're at your sexiest. You might want to turn your camera on. I miss you already. Aw. Miss you too, babe, I'm almost done prepping. I've missed, I've missed me too if I were you. You're gonna say, I miss you too, babe. And he liked it. Did you pick your wedding look already? Yep, and you don't wanna see it, trust me. So what are you up to? Actually, I'm still in the fitting room, trying on honeymoon laundry that she's not keeping. Sorry, Adam. Your woman is just not reliable to like pick choices of her own, even though I'm the one picking them. Don't, don't mind me. I'm not in the story. You're in your underwear? Why didn't you tell me sooner? Hee <laughs> hee. A pick is in order. A pick will be all you get. Ah, but I can't show you the whole thing. It's against the rules. Then just a little sneak peek. Something to help me get through my day at work. You want a picture of Talia in a lingerie to get through your day at work? Naughty boy, let me think about it. Shouldn't you earn it? I'm gonna say naughty boy. Your sexiness does it to me. Why can I, what can I say? Okay, let's play a game. If you can guess what I'm wearing, I'll send you a pic. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Let me see. Something with lace. Maybe a gatter? Garter? Gatter? Garter? Are you standing right behind me? I wish I were. I need to know. Is it see-through? It's very sheer. You can see almost everything your heart desires. <laughs> I'm just not really, I'm not really into sending pics like that. You'll just have to wait. You just keep disappointing, Talia. At this point of the story of the episode, you're disappointing me. Heads up, girls, you might want to check out the Soulmate Gang group chat. Holy <laughs> Greetings, beautiful people. We hope you're all chosen your wedding dresses and suits because you're getting married this weekend. What? This weekend? Weddings never go this fast. We're getting married this weekend. I guess the only thing we did was situated, get ourselves situated and get ready for our weddings. 
still don't know if Adam is our soulmate. We haven't found out yet. I thought we found that out before we get married, but I guess maybe we do it at the same time. I don't know. But if you did enjoy this story, we are getting through it. We have two more episodes to go in this story, and then we can move on to another one that's been requested. And I also did sit down and I took all the stories that you guys requested in my comments and I put them in my notes so I won't forget. So that, I have that. I have everything ready to go to move on. But if you did enjoy this video, you enjoyed the story so far, give this video a like. It would help my channel out so much. If you have not subscribed to the Rare Brief fam, what are you waiting for? By now you should be joining the family because why not? Why are you not joining? Click the subscribe button. You have to be a part of my family. Don't make me sad. You don't want me to be sad. Don't, don't mind me. Don't mind me. And right next to that subscription button, hit the bell button so you won't miss another episode. You don't want to miss the episodes because they're, they're horrible.